Hello Internet, welcome to another tutorial in Network Analysis and Synthesis series. In today's tutorial, we'll talk about port in a network or ports in a network. Now, any network can be represented using a rectangular box. Now, in order to connect this network to another uh, network or uh, another load or another source we need uh, a set of terminals we need two terminals uh, they they are represented something like this and this set of this terminal a pair of uh, terminals is known as a port so for example uh, this is one good example of a port one port network and similarly if this rectangular box is extrapolated like this uh, we connect a source here to port A and B and we connect a load resistance here and this port could be known as X and Y so this becomes a two port network where this port is theoretically the input port and this port is known as the output port now everything is pretty logical here it is not necessary to have physically four wires in order to get uh, a two port network because if you see logically this network is consisting of just one loop it's just that the point from where we want to take the output the point which we consider as the load uh, will be known as the output terminal or will be known as the output port So, for example, if we make a network like this, now this network could be seen as a two port network from one person's perspective because uh, one could think of this network as a two port network considering port number one which is a b port to be the input port and he would simply take the output from the points x and y through this resistance r f and he would call this as an output port now from from this guy's perspective this is just a two port network and everything can be put uh, inside a rectangular box making it a two port network but uh, as I said this is this is everything related to the logic of the uh, rationale behind the network for example if a third person considers uh, output number one from the resistance rf and output number two from the resistance r2 now this could be a case of a three port network so it is all logical if if we uh, if we uh, designate RL1 resistor as a load resistant load resistance where we'll take out some output and we designate RF as another resistance where we plan to take out another output then this becomes a three port network and if all the resistances are connected to uh, some kind of an output uh, mechanism then this will become an n port network so basically a a network could be uh, known as an n port network if we have 
various outputs taken from uh, various different points so each set of wires uh, will be known as port and so this is port number one for example two three four and five so this is a five port or an n port network so everything is logical here depending upon how how the network feeds other networks so uh, once we study uh, once we study ports in a network then we are concerned about uh, studying network configurations in um, network analysis and synthesis so there are different network configurations and it is very important from the point of theory also we'll discuss all the network configurations in detail one by one the first type of network configuration that we discuss is uh, the T type network configuration or this is known as the T section and this is one such configuration of a network where uh, again this is a study of two port networks so we'll have two ports input and output port this is going to be the input port and this is going to be the output port but the configuration of the network would be such that it will form a shape of a T and the resistances are connected like this and if in such a network Z1 is not equivalent to Z3 this is known as unsymmetrical T section and if you take up a case where Z1 is equivalent to Z3 so this is Z1 also and this is another resistance Z2 again this is input and this is output where Z1 is equivalent to Z1 of course so this has become symmetrical T section and again now this is taking into fact that uh, this network configurations are only valid for two port networks so uh, one port will surely be an input port and the other port will surely be an output port then again the T section of the network configuration can be extrapolated uh, as uh, unbalanced uh, symmetrical T section because this is unbalanced asymmetrical T section because uh, this these arms of the network uh, they do not have any impedances here but if if I want to so this is unbalanced although this is symmetrical uh, but it is unbalanced and in order to balance it we need to place two more impedances here so this becomes a balanced symmetrical T section and some people uh, call it H section uh, which is an altogether different name for a network configuration but uh, nevertheless H section is an extension of T section where the arms are balanced as you can see uh, these two arms they did not have any impedance so if you place impedances here they are balanced with the arm above uh, it which is known as the series arm by the way so both the series arms have the same impedances in balanced symmetrical T section more popularly known as H section. 